episode of Kaberi's Indian Cooking. As you probably know, I am a dancer, but even dancers have to eat. If you have eaten at an Indian restaurant outside the Indian subcontinent, you may think Indian food always comes with a rich, heavy sauce. In reality, it doesn't. In this series, I will be showing you how to cook healthy Indian food using ingredients which you should be able to find anywhere in the world. I'll also focus on recipes which don't take long to prepare. I thought I'd start the series with some of Obi's favorite dishes. So I'll be preparing okra or lady's fingers, marrow, yellow lentils, and a prawn curry, as well as a Bengali dessert known as Chanar Paish. In this episode, I'm joined by our friends Yel, Natalie, Judy and Martin. Hello. First, I'm going to do the dessert because it has to be chilled. Mm, chana Paish. Chana means uh, the milk solid and uh, Paish is like pudding. First, I'm going to put this milk. I prefer the organic one. While waiting for the meal to boil, cut the lime That's into three good. wedges. It's very good because I quite often squeeze limes into drinks. Mm -hmm. And I'm always breaking my fingers trying to no. get the juice what, out. What it's you a very simple what, cutting what, technique. Oh, what really you funny. should do, hold this like yeah. this, and you, you can do okay. that. And you hold lime and juice comes out. Comes out. Fantastic. You have to be careful because sometimes it, if it is too hot, then it uh, um, it get uh, burned. Okay. Well, uh, this this is uh, the milk is boiling. Uh, I can cut the um, uh, marrow because next time I'm doing this, so you don't have to uh, waste our time. But careful that. Cut the ends. Okay. Or you can find in the African shop and Bangladeshi or Pakistani, wherever. But sometimes my in, in supermarket I find sometimes, but it's not very often. You have to peel. Yeah, you know, you have okay. to peel. peel. And actually, it's uh, very healthy because northeast uh, part of uh, India, the Manipuri people, they use very often for the fever. They just boiled it with uh, a little bit of sugar, and it's a uh, kind of medicine. Okay. Yeah, and it's very healthy. Do you want me to stir the milk? Please. It's coming. So I'll put the lime juice. Yes. That's such a clever way of squeezing the lime. Once the milk curdles, pour out the contents of the pan into a fine sieve. Add some cold water on top to pull it down. Then leave it to stand over cold water. While the curdled milk dries out, finish cutting the marrow. Does marrow need to be cut quite thinly? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And you're cooking for a group of six people tonight. Mm -hmm. So, in general, two marrows. 
if you can enough. Uh, yeah enough but if, if you can find the big one uh, so like 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 this yeah, okay so it, it's fine and I, I didn't find the big one so I came out to like you can grate it but normally you can um, grate it with a like this you can grate it into the oh, big, the bigger one bigger yeah. but I prefer this Once the cardinal milk has dried out, finish making the pie. Okay, I'll put I prefer not too sweet, so I didn't put too much. Maybe 60 grams. Mm -hmm. Sugars. And I'll put some cardamom. All cardamom. The pistachio. And some raisins. And you have to wait a little bit because. The, the this pistachio and the reason it becomes soft. Simmer for around five minutes. We'll keep some milk and put some saffron in it. the flavor and, uh, and uh, well, I can use the Indian one I have those but uh, you know for the time it's <laughs> much easier so that's why I am using this powder saffron which I found in the supermarket see the raisins and it's more getting getting bigger. Add the curdled milk to the pan.
then you can you can add the Down a little bit, then it goes to the fridge. What the okra? Cut. Cut. Two ends. The difficult thing with ladies' fingers <coughs> is they get sticky. There's this yeah. glue yeah. that comes out. Yeah. Of the you have to wash before, not after cutting. But now we we'll go for the marrow and the marrow so it's extra virgin olive oil put that much of cumin seed yeah. and one small bay leaf We use more our hand always. You add a little bit of salt. Not too much. Okay. Sugar because it's more mm. like uh, sweet. Not too okay. mm -hmm. Four spoon sugar. Stir it. Okay, I'll, I'll add some uh, coconut. Huh? Ah, coconut. Yes. Mm. Coconut. Coconut gives the taste. Milk. You can use water instead of milk if you prefer. Cover the pan and bring it to the boil, stirring occasionally. It now needs to cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Use the time to soak the frozen prawns and chop 1 and half onions for the okra. Okay, now it's done. 